Hey there, how are you? My name is George Daniel and I want to welcome you to this Power Platform Essentials video series. This is the second video on this series that will take you through the works on Power Platform. In this video, we will be looking at the configuration of a Dataverse environment. And if you follow through the first video, you now have a newly created environment and it's time to check out some options and settings in it. When you open your environment, you are presented with a dashboard that provides you with key information such as the URL, the type of environment and the assigned security group. From here, you can click on edit, change the URL or even maybe the security group. Below the details section, you have auditing. And here you can enable auditing and set the retention period. Just click on manage, start auditing and decide on the period of retention. Be mindful though of log storage capacity and also that auditing needs to be enabled at the table level. More on that in a future video. In the dashboard, you can also check the version of Dataverse here and whether updates from release waves are on or off. You can also see the full history of the environment. On the right, you have several shortcuts related to access, such as users and security roles, related to resources, such as apps and flows, and also related to generative AI. Moving on, in the top menu, you have a few buttons you need to know about. Let's start with backup and restore. The system takes automatic backups and you can restore your database in case something goes wrong. Click Backup and Restore, Restore or Manage. Set a target date and a target time so a backup can be found for you. What you can also do is take a manual backup when you fear something may go wrong and you want to have that backup in place. Another button is copy and this one allows you to make a copy of one environment to another and this can be useful to create a working backup for instance. You first need to create that target environment before copy. Next we have Reset, um, very useful for developer and sandbox environments. It allows you to start fresh with a clean installation. And delete when you don't need the environment anymore. Now let's go for settings and here we'll find a lot of options. So let's try and go through some of the most relevant ones. And let's start by expanding product and going into behavior so you can decide on the release channel. Set it to monthly if you want to get updates early. Moving on, let's go into features. And this is a full house, really. Now, most of the options are self-explanatory and links are provided to give you more information. Um, so I'll mention, mention just a few. And um, I'll start with Bing Maps. Now, what this does is allow you to use a minimap component uh, in your forms. So you can put it in your account record, for instance. And if you have mobile users, and they need to know where their customers are, they can click on that minimap that will bring out their GPS, which will take, you there, take them there. 
Another one um, is Cloudflow run in history in Dataverse. This is still in preview, but do turn it on so you can start to get a grasp on what this can do for you. Also search, uh, should this be off, turn it on. Um, what will, it will do is enable a search bar on the top of your apps and that search bar is super useful. So turn it on. And uh, Power Apps Component Framework for Canvas app. You will need to enable this one if you want to use some custom components in Canvas app. Now, do take note that this will allow code to run, so make sure components come from a trusted source. And finally, Recycle Bin. Also in preview, but this one can really be a savior. Imagine deleting a record you didn't mean to. Uh, this can really help you, so turn it on, set it for 30 days, and keep an eye on the development of this feature, because this one is huge. Um, moving on, uh, let's go into okay languages. So what this allows you to do is enable more languages in your system, which then can be set as preferred language by your user. In the business group, uh, take a look at currencies. Should you need to have more than one currency in your system, you can come in here and add new currency. Now, as for users and permissions, this is where you will take care of how your users can interact with your data. Dataverse offers enterprise-grade security, allowing you to control what data can your users see and what they can do with it. Putting it in a very simple fashion, you have security roles defining privileges and then you assign users to, to them. Now, we have already talked about audits and logs. Let's go into templates. But First, maybe, uh, okay, uh, templates. What you're gonna find here are some uh, very useful features like email templates, email signatures, uh, much like Outlook, but also document templates that allow you to create Word documents that can take dynamic data from your records. Imagine you have a disagreement you, you issue to your customers and you can have it in a template and then take the data from the record of the customer uh, to that template. In the email section and okay, what you can do is integrate your Dynamics 365 and model-driven Power Apps with Exchange, so you can send and receive email um, in your apps. Also, in integration, this is where you can set up an integration with SharePoint, so you can save files there and save on paid capacity uh, in Dataverse. As for data management, uh, it allows you for several things, uh, namely uh, auto numbering, which is uh, defining the tokens uh, on your emails, on your orders, on your quotes, that prefix that comes before uh, the number of the email or of the document but also it allows you to take a look at the um, duplicate detection rules um, and this is important when you're working with accounts in context so you can take a look at um, the rules that come by default and that are published 
you can maybe unpublish one that doesn't make much sense to you or you can create new ones. So, as you can see, there are a lot of options when configuring an environment. Don't get too worked up with this, okay? Um, in this video, we've been through some that you should be aware of. While most of them come configured by default and you don't need to worry about them. Now with this done, it's time to talk solutions and that's what the next video is all about. So do come back and see you soon.